Kevin Gosman who makes his fifth start of the regular season. First three were excellent. Last one not so good. Seven run first inning against the Astros. They had a bat around inning and it happened really fast. And he got him swinging at a splitter for out number one. And whenever we talk about Gosman you got to talk about that splitter. And it looked like he went and he did. They appeal down to first and Junior Valentine says yep back to back strikeouts. Here comes pitch number nine in this at bat. Outside corner at the knees. Rizzo didn't like it at all, but it looked like Gosman just painted the corner with a perfect pitch to get him. And he got him. Waves at it down to a knee as he strikes out. Five strikeouts through three scoreless innings for Kevin Gosman. Aaron Judge, Anthony Rizzo, Glaber Torres against the Blue Jay right hander. And a weak ground ball, first base side of the mound, underhand toss from Gosman, one down. And he got him again. <laughs> same, same pitch, <laughs> same spot as he strikes out Rizzo for the second time today. And then you get him down and in with a splitter. One down, and now here's Matt Chapman who struck out swinging his first time up. And there's a fair ball down the line. The first hit of the afternoon for the Blue Jays is a Chapman double. And actually, Judge had some trouble with it out there, but Chapman was kind of already thinking about his slide out at second base. So, runner in scoring position, nobody out. And he got him. <laughs> Another fastball and a swing and a miss for strikeout number eight. Can I say he's so good? Strike three called 96 on that one. So Dan I was just about to say once again with Peraza young hitter after the fastball even though he was late on it but he may go for the punch out with the splitter. Look what he does. And he rings up another one. Two over the minimum. A lot of Matt Chapman double and a walk to Whit Merrifield. Here's George Springer trying to change it. Ground ball to short, knocked down, and Volpe can't find it. And Springer is going to reach on the air. Well, let's see if that's the break the Blue Jays needed here to get something going. Just a routine ground ball here. He just got kind of got his feet tangled up a little bit. And here's Vladdy. Guerrero has lined out and grounded out. This one is lined hard. Down the left field line, it's gone. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hits a rocket into the seats in left. And the Blue Jays take a two to nothing lead. And he has become a little bit more of a villain right now here in the Bronx. This is the loudest booing we have heard over the weekend. Here's left hand hitting Dalton Varsho against Schmidt. And now a rocket to right by Varsho. And there's no doubt about this one. Guerrero and Varsho go back to back, and it is three to nothing. Boy, from out of nowhere, all of a sudden the bats have come to life. So now Danny Jansen, 0 for 2 on the afternoon. And Jansen hits a ball hard down the left field line. One hop off the wall. Merrifield in to score. Jansen on his way to second and safe with an RBI double that makes it four to nothing. Add on runs are a good thing especially when you're playing in this ballpark. What a start it has been for him. Six scoreless just two hits has not walked a batter has struck out 11 that is one shy of his career high. Long run Kiermaier. Deepest part of the park. One down runners on the corners. Danny Jansen will step in. The ground ball to the left side to second one back to first not in time. Jansen beats it out. Fielder's choice RBI Chapman scores five to nothing. The 0 2 stays with a fastball popped up down the third baseline. Chapman is there and makes the catch. And the Blue Jays will win the game and win the series by taking two out of three here in the Bronx.